Hi, today we are going to talk and understand about fret. If you excite the molecule from S0 state, it undergoes to excitation phase 1. When it comes back, it emits an energy that is called fluorescence. The molecules which shows this property, they are called fluorophores. If one of the fluorophores emission has an overlap with the excitation of another fluorophore, then if they are in 2 to 8 nanometer of vicinity with each other, one molecule will take energy from it, that is called fret. Now, to go into fluorescence instrumentation a little bit, you have a light source which will pass through a monochromator and excite the sample and when the sample emits, that emission will be collected through another monochromator and detector and that will give the spectral output. For our experiment, we have a 16 base pair of DNA strands that are complementary to each other so that they can go hybridization and G is being aminated and here A is being aminated to attach to NHS ester dialexan fluor 488 and Texas red which are thread pair. So in fluorescence, you put your solution inside the cubit. If you see this cubit, it has three windows open because we collect fluorescence in perpendicular. We are going to wash this cubit first. So for the washing of the cubit, first you put ethanol, then you wash with acetone, then with water. And again repeat this same process twice. After washing is done, you dry the cubit using a hair dryer. So this is the spectrofluorometer here. This is from Fluoromax spectrofluorometer from Polymax. You have the lamps here. This is the lamp. You put your sample inside this. Here the cubit goes and the excitation light comes from this narrow window and you take the emission measure it from here. Detector is here present. We switched on the spectrofluorometer and we wait for 15 minutes to stabilize the excitation light. Then this fluorescence B3.5 software. Click on this button which will open up the experiment menu. Okay. Then you click on next, clicking on emission spectra. We can have excitation spectra, we can have both synchronized. But for this experiment, we will collect emission spectra. So, our sample has Alexa Pure 488 attached to one DNA and we have Texas Red in another. Now, Alexa Pure 488 excites at 488 nanometer wavelength. Then we change the excitation slit to 2 nanometer. This excitation slit depends on how much fluorophore concentration you have in your sample. We collect the fluorescence emission from around 505 nanometer to almost 650 nanometer. This should span the range of emission for both the donor and the acceptor. We keep the emission slit width little higher compared to the excitation slit width that gives a better sensitivity. Okay. Then you go to the detector window. We change the integration time to 0.5 second. This suggests that at every wavelength, it will wait for 0.5 seconds to collect the fluorescent emission. Then we click on this correction window because this will deduct the, the excitation profile of the light from the emission window. Now we are going to put this cuvette along with the sample inside the cuvette holder in this way. Light is coming through this way, emission is collecting through this way. So we have cuvette window open towards this and this side. We click on this run button. It will start acquiring the spectrum. This is the emission profile of our donor light, which is attached to the DNA. Now we will attach another strand of the DNA, which is attached to Texas Red. We mix thoroughly and keep it for some time to let both the strand hybridize. After waiting for around 10 minutes, we start exciting. Again, the donor excitation light with the same configuration. We click on the run. Overlay this spectra with our previously collected spectra. We go to layer contents and there we, we take the S1 corrected towards this side and overlay both of them. If you see, the donor intensity has got decreased and there is acceptor intensity K. That means both the DNA is hybridized and threat is happening. So this way will continue up to the time the saturation came. 
we have seen very nice pattern of decrease in the donor intensity or the coins and increase in the acceptor intensity. But now it seems it has reached saturation. So from this spectra, we are going to calculate the fat efficiency. From I intensity of the donor when there was no acceptor and comparing with the intensity of the donor in presence of the saturating amount of acceptor. Now our experiment is over. We are going to switch off the instrument. First, you turn off the software. After software is turned off, you turn off the computer and then you turn off this main switch of the spectrophore. So, fret efficiency is equal to 1 minus intensity of donor in presence of acceptor divided by intensity of only donor. From our experiment, these are our intensity values and we get the fret efficiency 0 0.625. R naught for this particular fret pair is 5.8 nanometer. So, from the efficiency and the R naught value, the distance R is equal to 5.32 nanometer. I hope you understand from the demonstration little bit about fret and ensemble fret. If you want to know more, please comment in the video. Thank you very much.